Hey, hey, I don't know. He packed it Tuesday too. Yeah, I apologize for Thursday, Friday, and and uh, yesterday I did not do a live. Um, Friday I was out of town. Um, Thursday I just completely got overwhelmed with stuff, and then yesterday I've been doing interviews for uh, our customer service representative from the Comcast phones, and so I wasn't able to do it because I was doing interviews all day. So we've been pretty busy. Question is, does the cheap little drain cleaner that you get? work on something like the tub right here where you would disconnect the uh, stop there you could shove it down inside there and run it backwards and you could pull hair out of it these are designed particularly these ones right here were designed for hair um, and now people ask me all the time what about Drano what about putting stuff down the drain like a drain cleaner do those work my, my advice is don't use Drano um, First of all, the manufacturer has to make it safe enough for when you dump it down there that it doesn't hurt you. And the problem with that is they have to dilute the actual chemical that would work to do that. And so really all you're doing is adding chemical to an already pro problem that's never going to get taken care of. Um, and there's all these chemicals that claim that they'll clean it out there. Unless you're a plumber and you actually buy the acidic chemicals and you have the full strength chemical, chemicals usually don't work. Um, people try it all the time on the kitchen kitchen drains. Um, people try it on the bathtub and then they'll warn us, hey, I put chemical down there. The problem with that is we have to put, put water in there and then wait 24 hours for that water diluted out to where we can actually safely work on sinks and drains when the chemical has been added. So I wouldn't recommend doing chemicals. Now, as far as the auger or the um, sewer snake being used, yes, those work. But on the main lines, like most people have issues with, um, the ones that they sell at Home Depot are fairly small and they won't work on a main line. Those are made for like kitchen sinks and floor drains, um, you know, tub drains, minor drains. Those are not designed for main lines. So when you have a plug up and it's coming up your floor drain, that's more than likely your, your main line. So you would actually need to get a, a cable sewer machine. Um, we have several of those now out there. Um, we actually have a new product called a flex shaft where we can actually do what they call descaling the pipe. And then there's also the high hydro jetting or the high pressure jetter, which actually on grease works way better than um, snaking it. Um, with grease, you'll just punch a hole in it and it drops and it clogs off. But with a jetter, it actually punches a hole in it and then it washes all that grease that's on the sidewall off and out to the drain. So for kitchen lines, um, restaurants, things like that, um, sometimes floor drains, depending on you know what their application is, we'll recommend doing jetting. Um, we do have a little portable jetter that fits underneath the sink. Um, and so that would be the best way to clean out a grease clog. But for main lines, the best recommendation is to leave that to the professional. Um, with that, you need a larger drain cleaner. Um, usually us professionals have um, cameras to where we can actually see what we're doing with it. And uh, if you get into roots with a regular snake, it can bind up on you. It can really hurt yourself with that. So if, when it comes to mainline drain cleaning, I would recommend going with a, a professional plumber to do it. Um, if it's just a toilet clog, you can try plunging it. You can try doing the little auger on it. If that doesn't work, then it obviously it's going to mainline and you need to turn to a professional to take care of that. But for tub drains, for little sink drains like the lavatory, like I showed you, or even kitchen sink, um, 
kitchen sinks not so much because it's usually grease and food debris that's in the kitchen sink but in the tubs and the and the and the, the uh, lavatory faucets these little little zip drain cleaners actually work fairly decent because they will grab the hair and pull it out so if it's just hair like in a, in a bathroom lavatory or in a bathtub you're probably going to be okay buying one of those and using it obviously if you are afraid to use that and don't want to buy it we're always we're always open to coming and taking care of your drain um, like I said, we have the technology where we can look in it and look, see what's going on. Um, we just purchased another new camera. We're in the process of buying another one. Um, we have the locating equipment so we can know exactly where your drain's at. And all those those things go into one thing, and that's just taking care of our customers. So obviously, if you got a problem with your drain, feel free to give us a call, 307-922-4413. If you think you can handle it and it's just a hair clog, go ahead and try that little snake thing. Carefully don't break it in the drain, though. I have seen that happen. You folks have a wonderful Tuesday. We'll catch you tomorrow.